Yo, what's up everybody, Professor V here, and in this video, I will cover how to set up your student paper in APA style on Google Docs. Let's go. All right, so if at any point in the video I speak too fast or go through the steps too quickly, I apologize. Please pause the video when necessary. The intention for this video is to be quick and concise. So the very first step to setting up your student paper in Google Docs is to open up a document within Google. Navigate to google.com and click on this icon. Scroll until you see the docs icon and click it. Next, under start new documents, click blank. Then a new blank document will open. Now we will format the settings for the documents. First, we will set up the margins. Usually, the proper margins are the default, but to verify, it is wise to go through these steps. In the upper left-hand corner, click on File and then click on Page Setup. Be certain that Apply To is set to Whole Document, Orientation is set to Portrait, Paper Size is set to Letter, Page Color is set to White, and all the margins are set to one. If any of them are different, just click set to default, which is usually right here. Once this is done, click okay. Second, set the font to an approved font. Approved fonts defined in the APA style manual, seventh edition are shown here. My suggestion is Times New Roman. Thus, click on this drop down menu and click on Times New Roman or any of the approved fonts. Next, be certain that the font size is also correct for the font chosen. For Times New Roman, the font size needs to be set to 12. 11 is the default, so you must click the plus sign once to make the font size 12. Next, we need to set your page numbers. In the toolbar, click on Format, then click on Page Numbers. Be certain that header is selected, the show on first page box is checked, and that under numbering the start at bubble is selected and the number one appears in the text box. Then click apply. The page number will then appear in the header. There is another checkbox that also appears. The text different from first page or different first page is next to it. Be certain that the box is not checked. I repeat, the box should not be checked. The page number also needs to be in the same font and font size. Be sure to highlight your page number and change it to your chosen font and font size. Once this is completed, click within the document below the header to stop editing the header. Next, let's set up line spacing. Click on Format again and hover your cursor over line and paragraph spacing. Click on Custom Spacing. Set line spacing to 2 and before and after spacing to 0. The default for line spacing is 1.5, so be certain to change it. The default for before and after spacing is 0 but just be sure to verify. Lastly, click apply for this step. After all that is complete, we are ready to set up your APA style title page. First, press enter three to four times. Your cursor should now be on the third or fourth line of the page. Next, center your cursor by clicking here. Bold your text as well by clicking here. Next, type the title of your paper. Once the title is typed out, press enter on your keyboard twice. There should be a blank line between the title and the author's name. Once the cursor is in place, still centered, unbold your text by clicking here, and then type your name. Press enter to go to the next line and type your affiliation. Your affiliation is the department of the course you are taking 
followed by the name of the college or university. Press enter to go to the next line and type your course abbreviation, number, a colon, and the title of the course. Press enter to go to the next line and type the name of your instructor. Some professors and instructors may have a preference on how they want their names to be typed. You may want to check with your instructors first. If you are in one of my classes, I have no preference. Lastly, for the page title, go to the next line and type the due date of your writing assignment. Then you will need to go to the next page by inserting a page break. To do so, click on insert on the toolbar, hover your cursor over break, and click page break. Scroll so that you can see the second page of the document and verify that the page number appears in the upper right hand corner. If not, go back in this video and redo the page number steps. If the page number is there, bold your text and with your cursor still centered on the first line of the second page, type your title once again. Next, go to the next line, unbold your text, and left align your text by clicking here, indent your first paragraph, and begin typing your paper. And there you have it. Your paper is set up in APA style in Google Documents. Many instructors require that assignments be submitted as Word documents or PDF files, so be sure to save it or export the documents in the correct format when submitting the assignment. So comment below if you have any questions, smash the like button if this video was helpful, subscribe if not already, and I will see you in the next one. Oh wait, I forgot one small thing. I have a Discord server. The link to join my Discord server is in the description below. Let's build a psychology community together and help each other grow. We can talk about psychology, obtaining an education in psychology, how to become better writers, help each other with homework and writing assignments, and even make suggestions for future videos. I was so excited to share this news with all of you, so I will see you in the next video as well as on Discord. So until next time, take care.